my fan base would hate. Um, it helps that Ronnie Radke is a piece of shit, though. Your fan base? Your fan base, homie? Why are we giving these people the idea that they have fans? You make a TikTok and you get a couple uh, views and you think you have fans on me? Look, man, you're a moderate guitar player. I get it, man. So you're allowed to critique music. I understand that. But when where it went wrong is when you started bringing my character into it. So here we go. I can judge by the way you play guitar that everything you do is haphazardly because you're terrified of rejection. You're terrified of failure. So the second you get good at anything, it scares you because you don't like success. The way you you inflect everything you inflect when you speak shows me that you you don't have any bass in your voice. You don't say anything with your chest. You're say terrified of chest. your own shadow. Lyrical, spiritual, miracle, spiritual, lyrical. I love that shit, homie. I love it. And you're implying that people that listen to that music are are bad people because you're saying that you don't like that. And anybody that listens to that, you don't like those people. So guess what that makes you? That makes you a bad person. Because you're judging people based off of what they listen to what I mean. on how they are as a people. You understand that? You're a bigot if you think about it. I love all people that listen to all music. Hence why I have a genre fluid uh, uh, background in music. Hence why I'm so popular and famous and rich. And you're not. <laughs> Your sloppy guitar playing just shows me that everything you do is sloppy. You, is, you think you have fans, homie. Homie would go out into public and homie wouldn't get noticed. Mm. You don't have fans. Y'all know this guy. You have followers on TikTok. <laughs> Dissing all the likes of Eminem and Tech Nine, bro. That's lyrical, crazy. spiritual, lyrical. Second ever, little pretty penny. Did it, get Never give it. All that shit. I love that shit, bro. Like that shit is fucking dope. Do you, you like? You can like whatever you like. I don't can care, bro. I love lyrical, spiritual, miracle shit, and I'm proud of it. I stand on business. Eminem is the fucking goat. Right. So is Tech Nine, bro. Oh yeah. You want to talk about character, bro? When's the last time you donated to the homeless? Mm. When's the last time you gave somebody uh, money for new teeth? When's the last time you donated to a band that lost all its gear in the pandemic and had no more money? That's a lot. You want to talk about character? Donate to something like I do. I hate talking about that kind of stuff, but sometimes these fools make me... Mm. Talk about how my music ain't this, my music ain't that. Bro, if I sat in a studio with you and you picked up the guitar, I would have to kick you out of the studio and bring in a guitar player that can actually track. Right. I can tell you don't know how to track well. I am light years ahead of you uh, musically. Like, every every type of music, I will destroy you in. <laughs> you can't, there's no, there's no comparison. Hence why I could do a country song that goes number one on radio and then go do Big Lyrical moves. Spiritual Miracle with no chorus and that shit goes gold in six months. Mm. Where's your gold plaque? Where's your platinum plaques? Huh? Since you got so many fucking fans. <laughs> oh, wait. You don't have any plaques because none of your music went gold or platinum. So you decided to make a TikTok and be a less interesting Anthony Fantano. Mm. Full over here doing curls before he goes and makes a TikTok video. Like, I don't see you, homie. Like, I have been working out long enough to know what you're doing. I worked out. You stupid. I got you. Got to make sure them veins are popping through the tight-ass shirt so people think you're strong, huh? You don't have to like my music, but you ain't going to make people... You ain't going to make... It seemed like people that listen to my music are awful people, and I'm an awful person. That's why. That's where you messed up. I'm richer than you. I'm better than you at music. I can write hits better than you. All you, I could tell by the where where you are right now in your little studio that you're stu you don't even have the right plugins to make the right music. Mm. You want to talk about gain structures? Let's sit down and talk about gain structures. Let's sit down and talk about uh like the compositions. Let's sit, sit down and talk about the low end, the high end, the mids. You don't know nothing about mixing. You don't know nothing about writing a hit. You don't know nothing about top lines, homie. Have a nice day. You're talking shit. Hey, yo, 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 it's P. What the fuck is it, Dale? Chilling with DJ Dale. Strictly for the streets. Nigga, you heard? My nigga Dale's it up. Rest in peace to Prodigy, by the way. That got thrown in there by accident. That was something that we posted yesterday. Uh, Ronnie defending Eminem. Defending Tech Nine because there's people that always do that lyrical spiritual. Yo, that's whack. People want that dumbed down rap, but like you know, if you have a brain you, like some of us do, we want to hear stuff that has some kind of substance to it. You know that you're actually getting some food for thought when you listen to it. I love lyrical hip hop. I'm from New York. You know, I'm born and raised in New York, so I love that man. I, I the party stuff is fun. The mumble rap stuff is fun, but at the end of the day. Hip hop is lyrics, you know. You noticed that uh, Ronald song he nodded 36 Chambers Wu Tang Clan. You could tell he's a hip hop head, 
the mother F is rapping. A lot of the songs, he's rapping and he could rap. Imagine an Eminem song with Tech Nine and Mother Effin falling in reverse. That would be sickening. Or just even just Eminem and Ronnie. Can you imagine the music video, how insane that would be? Because the mind of Ronnie and the boys is out of control with the visuals. Hit that effing like right now. Let's make that fucking shit happen, man. And right in the chat, we need that Eminem-Ronnie collaboration. That would be sick. Ronnie defending himself as usual. The haters talking that talk, and he's defending himself. Some people think he's being petty about it, and some people think it's brilliant because he's promoting himself and he got us talking, right? I think that there's nothing wrong with him talking what's on his mind. It's probably therapeutic just speaking on when he sees people talking stupid stuff. It's a way to not only go right at that person, but other people that are thinking the same thing. So he's able to just just clear out a whole bunch of whack cornballs, you know, in his eyes. I didn't watch that complete TikTok, to be fair. So I got to check that one out. I'm just reacting off of Ronnie's post on IG, which is linked in the description along with the merch. We went live yesterday on Box some merch that we picked up, the new joints that are sold out, and I'm sure he's going to have some new stuff coming out soon. So all that's linked in the description. You can get your tickets to the concert. You can get your merch, all of that. And uh, hopefully I'll get my ass to one of them shows. And if you're still watching, make sure, you know, if you're a lifer, you know what I'm about to say. If you made it this effing far, I want you to put extra large pizza with four roaches four roaches in the comments. Write that or put some emojis. Be creative with it. We just posted an Alex Terrible video where there's the freaking wall of death and he just runs right in and he's standing in the middle while everyone's just, it's insane. So watch that effing video. I hate double uploading, man, but this had to be reacted to because it was from yesterday and I was kind of busy yesterday. Thank you to everyone that follows me on Instagram and on X. And uh, has hit me up and let me know, yo, please react to the new Ronnie. Listen, I got you. I just need interaction. We're going to keep rocking with it. And if there's any music you want me to react to, please let me know too. Because that's what I love. The first thing is the music. And then the second thing, I like doing these reactions with like people that are like Ronnie, that are outspoken and free thinkers. I love that. There's not enough of that in the world. You know, I'm Dells. You can be anywhere in the world. You here with me and I appreciate the fuck out of you. I'll see you later. Happy Friday. And we out. Yeah. <laughs> What's your favorite metal band? Uh, Slipknot. Slipknot is freaking awesome. Shout out to Corey. Jeff Hardy, Swan Tom. Oh,